In this series of videos, I'm going to explain how to machine the desktop organizer for your assignment too. So I've started here by opening up the solid model that was provided, or one of the two models that was provided. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and look at it isometrically. Now I want to machine the bottom first, so I need to do a transform. So I'm going to select transform. I'm going to choose the drop down arrow here and I have to use the translate to plane option. So I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to control A to select all entities and I'll end my selection. And I want to move this and I want the current front view to become the top. And I'll say OK. I'm going to right click and I'm going to clear my colors. And the next thing I want to do is put the part zero in the proper location. So the proper zero for this part is this edge, but up at the top. So what I'm going to do before I do that, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to fit the geometry to the screen. I'm going to create a new level. I'm just going to call it level two. And this is going to be my corner geometry. And I probably didn't spell that right. So let's fix that. There we go, corner geometry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm in the 2D construction mode. The Z0 I want to be at the top of the part, but that's fine. I'm going to click in the Z. Not sure why my computer likes to put this up here. And I'm going to right click and tell it the Z coordinate of a point. And I'm just going to say that's the Z level I want to create geometry in, which is currently 3 8 That's fine. So next, I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn the line thickness up. I'll right click again. I'm just going to choose this bright green so it's easy to see. So now I want to go to the wireframe tab and I'm going to tell it to create an edge curve. So I want to create an edge curve. Whoops. We're at this edge and I'm going to rotate around a bit. I'm going to move this over holding shift and the middle mouse wheel to move and where this part edge meet. So I'll say OK. I'm going to right click and go back to the isometric view. So now if I look at the top view and I fit the screen we can see I have geometry over that corner and the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the front view and I want to make sure that geometry is on the top of the part and it is. So I'll right click, go back to my isometric view and I'm going to once again go to transform. I'm going to use the move to origin and I'm going to say where these two points intersect so either one of these endpoints is good. There's my part origin. I'm going to right click and fit the geometry to the screen and why is it still there? Because I left it in 2D mode. So I'm going to go back to 3D mode. I'm going to right click and clear my colors. So I did get it to the right corner, but not the right Z because I forgot I was in 2D mode. So now I'm in 3D mode. I'll just do it again. Move to origin. Choose that endpoint. Give it a minute. I'm going to right click and clear my colors. And now it's set up properly. And I'm just going to right click and fit the screen. So next, I'm going to go back to the tool paths. And I need to add a machine. So before I do, I'm going to save because my cheap computer often crashes at this point. So I'm going to save this somewhere. So I've saved my work in case it crashes. I can just open it up from there again. I'm going to go machine, mill, default, and it crashed. So I'll pause the recording and restart it from that point. Okay, crash is recovered. Let's try again. So I'm going to go machine, mill, default, Ban this, I'm going to go to tool settings. You're told to make the program number two, to assign tool number sequentially, to select the material from the mill library 6061. Aluminum, and then for stock setup, I'm first going to just tell it all entities. And then we're expanding the X, so a 16th comes off each end, so that'll be plus one quarter. And then the Z, also we're expanding, so a 32nd has to come off each end. So this will be plus a sixteenth. I'm going to tell it to display this and fit the screen. Now I'm going to have to adjust this Z yet, but first let's look at it. So I'm going to say OK. I'm going to right click and I'm going to look at the front view. So when we add it to the Z, it always by default master cam gets added to the bottom. So to fix that, I'm going to go to stock setup and I'm going to tell it here that this is plus the 32nd. And I'll say OK. And then it up it moves. So I'm going to right click, go back to the isometric view, and I'm going to continue from there in the next video.